hey all in this session i am going to show you how to remove a background for a particular image and replace it with another background so i have some sample images here uh, which i am going to use to remove background and then replace it with uh, some other background so you can see here i have a image here and uh, now what i am going to do is i am going to remove this uh, blue color sky so br blue color sky here and i am going to replace that image replace that blue color sky with this uh, clouds so here so what we have to do is we we have a tool called magic wand in uh, photoshop so shortcut for magic wand is w so if you just play, press w magic wand will come up just it uh, it will be just like uh, small uh, magic wand so what you have to do is so magic one will have a tolerance so tolerance in the sense it is like uh, color tolerance so you can see it on the top here so here i have a tolerance of 20 so let's take i have a tolerance of 0 if i click some area so not uh, i'll uh, keep tolerance of 10 so 10 so if i click some area here only the color tolerance which meets to that particular area will be selected so you can see only up to here which uh, the selection is made has that particular color tolerance apart from this area no other area has that particular tolerance if you want to increase it just select other area and the tolerance gets increased and uh, the selection also get increases so you can see it's going just uh, uh, beside that pillar and it's not going be uh, beyond that pillar it's not going on to the pillar so you can see here and only this area is getting selected so that is called tolerance so now what we are going to do is we are going to use this uh, criteria uh, so if you right click you can deselect the selection right click and uh, click on deselect so what we are going to do is we are going to use this criteria and we are just going to remove this background so now i am just going to remove this background you can see so i have took a magic wand and uh, I have just clicked on the background and the tolerance is less so I am going to deselect it and I am going to increase my tolerance to somewhere around 50 and I am going to click again so you can see here that background has been selected so now after I click background so if I click delete that background will be deleted so you can see that background has been deleted and you can uh, select these clouds here as well so inside also you can see you have a small blue color so here so you can select that particular area as well and uh, of course here you have one one more small uh, blue color and i have selected it yeah so i have clicked delete and uh, that background has been deleted and now uh, we have to replace this image we have to put that clouds to this image so what we are going to do is i am we are going to take this image which we have uh, selected we are going to take this and we are going to put it here in this clouds so what i am going to do is i am going to just right click and select inverse so if i click select inverse apart from this area which has been selected through magic one will be selected so if i click select inverse now this whole area gets selected so previously when i have used magic one on the sky which is in the background and now i have selected click inverse and uh, this area has been selected so remaining area so just i am clicking v v so v is a move tool and after i click v i'll get a small move tool which is small with a small uh, cut symbol so just drag this image and drop it here so you can see i have dropped it here and uh, you can resize it control minus for uh, zooming out and control t for selection so i am just dragging it as per the image so i'm just dragging it yeah so now if you see here that sky is replaced with these clouds so now i have changed the whole background and of course this is the way of removing backgrounds and uh, now you can see that whole sky has been changed and now uh, we are going to place one more uh, small model here so that it uh, we may uh, we we can make an image like uh, this particular girl is uh, standing over there in this image so now same magic wand we are taking same magic wand and uh, i am taking a tolerance of uh, 20 20 
and then I am clicking so if you click more times like uh, if you click uh, more clicks wherever it's not selected it, the selection will be increased so right click select inverse so that that model gets select and control X so control X control V so you can see here I am just placing that model here control T for resizing yes so yeah so we have placed a model here as well as uh, we have replaced clouds and uh, you can see here uh, we we have we have used uh, some two images and we made it as a single image here with clouds one background one layer so you can see clouds as a background and this temple as a uh, one layer and this particular model as another layer so yes uh, now you can see this whole image has been changed and we have changed that whole background so this is the way of uh, changing background in photoshop and you can save it as a jpeg and it will be converted as a single image subscribe to my channel for more updates thank you very much